kind of buggy for releasing in three weeks. But, okay, what I will say, the bugs that are present in this title, um, albeit major in my opinion, I haven't run into too many things inside the actual match once we get in there that are game breaking. Yes, there are some balance issues that should be addressed before launch. What game with two different factions doesn't have balance issues, though, at any iteration of the game, uh, especially this early on? So the balance issues I can overlook. The mouse pointer tethering. Um, okay, that, that kind of sucks. Could have just been a dual monitor freak out happens and it does happen in some games uh, so I'll give them that the matchmaking system which is the bread and butter of any multiplayer experience that and apparently it's not just on the PCs it's on consoles as well uh, people, some of the forum posts I looked at a little bit earlier, uh, people on consoles were having this same matchmaking issue. Um, that is terrible. You cannot have a, and I will, I will go out on a limb here and call this a multiplayer only game even though you can play this in single player I'll state that you can do this in single player you can play with the bots you can play you can play with four other bots uh, till you're blue in the face the hype of this game though is keying it on setting yourself up picking a role because you don't want to step on other people's toes in matchmaking games and it assigns you accordingly. The emphasis of this game is on human-to-human -human multiplayer, five-person matches. If your matchmaking system is fucked, this game will die. Nobody wants to wait 10, 15, 20 minutes to, to get their matchmaker on. They're not going to wait and they're just going to do one of two things, or one of three things. We'll we'll throw in the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good situation, people will, you know, work on ways to try to help their systems out for the matchmaking. They're going to try to, uh, you know, work all out to, to get that, uh, to, to, to make it as good as possible on their end, and they're going to stick with it. I will be in that category. The bad. The bad is that people aren't going to want to deal with that shit. They're going to completely slam you. Uh, they're going to completely, you know, point out this one glaring flaw in the system, and they are going to bash you and harangue you for it incessantly until it's fixed. The ugly. The ugly is people buying this game, running into a shitty matchmaking system like this, that barely works half the time on consoles and PCs and if they already bought it these are for the people that actually even the ugly category is still for people that went ahead and bought the game on release they're gonna shelf it they're gonna uninstall it, they're gonna shelf it they're gonna check back every now and again but I know personally from experience games that I've done that for that have that one glaring flaw um, that you know this would be a great game if I could play it. Like whether it be long queue times, um, uh, or it just be a matchmaking system that doesn't work. They're going to shelf it. And they might not come back. And that's highly detrimental to a game like this. We're matchmaking. It, okay, it'd be like uh, it'd be like Call of Duty releasing, and then uh, you know you're not interested in the single player. You buy Call of Duty, and you only want to do the multiplayer matches. Well, you jump into the multiplayer matchmaker, and you're sitting there for 10, 15 minutes, 
and nothing happens. Let's restart. Let's restart this. Find it. Alright. If you have to sit there that long, I've been, I've been talking here for like 10 minutes now about how shitty the matchmaking is, and we still haven't found a match. And that was after the approximately 20 to 25 minutes that we spent trying to get one person invited into my game to play with me. I'm pretty certain they're selling four packs of this game at discounted rates. Uh, I know they did it for like Left 4 Dead and stuff. I'm pretty certain that they're doing it for this game as well. If you're going to be that confident to tout the multiplayer as hard as you are, play with friends, social game, you better goddamn make sure that this matchmaking system works. Yeah, alright, all that effort, we found one person. It's going to be us two, two bots, and a monster. Absolute white, you're absolutely right. This game has so much going for it. I'm still hyped about this game. I am still buying it February 10th. You know, I'm still going to play the hell out of it. I'm sure of it. Am I going to be one of those people that shelves it because of a shoddy matchmaking system? Um, this isn't a popular channel by any stretch of the imagination. This is a very small Twitch channel. I personally have to make sure that I'm delivering a quality product as best I can. Yes, there's a lot of issues with this stream. Yes, the production value is low. But I gotta be, you know, at the very least, I gotta make sure I'm cranking out games, delivering new content, getting some clips, you know, in the limited time that I spend online here on Twitch. I gotta make sure I'm banging it out. If I'm spending over an hour of my stream in queue, I'm going to start streaming another game. This, this, this channel is not going to go only to evolve, you know, because I want to make sure I'm delivering quality product on my end. Other streamers who have a lot more to lose than me are definitely going to think that way. They're not going to sit in queue for that long. League of Legends streamers in the challenger bracket. When they have to wait that long for challenger games, it's totally understandable. It's a high tier, there's a low population that they have to wait for. They end up playing games with the same nine other people repeatedly. Um, that being said, they load up something like, you know, put Binding of Isaac off to the side in another window and they just start plowing through that until the match starts. We're not living in a challenger tier ranked games here where the air is thin. So literally everyone is having issues with the matchmaking system. And no one wants to deliver content of sitting in a matchmaking queue. That's my little rant. I'm only this disappointed and, and this vehement about my point because I want this game to succeed. It is a fun as shit game. It is great, the graphics are wonderful, the sound design is top notch. The gameplay is dynamic, no two matches are the same, the classes are wonderful, the upgrade paths, you name it, this game has it going so hard. It really does when you can get into a match. And that is damning for any multiplayer game. So I just hope, I, 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 I seriously hope Turtle Rock, please fix your matchmaking system. You fix that matchmaking system and you've got a dedicated streamer to this game for the next year, at least. Because I can see, you know, I'll even buy the DLC for it. They come out with a DLC pack two months into this. As long as everything's working, I'm going to buy it. I'll buy DLC four months from now. I don't even care. I'll do it. I love this game. If it works. <laughs> if and when it works. I love this game. So. 
luckily, that lengthy rant, um, you know, definitely just, ah, whatever. Loading into a match here. Finally going to get to enjoy it. Five players. Uh, we're going to get to enjoy it. You get to bang it out. I'm happy now. Let's kick some ass. <laughs> when it loads. Load time. I'll do it with load times. Load times I couldn't care less about. You load for two, three minutes before a match. I don't even care. We got five players. We're good. <laughs> 